Flowers, I'm Anita Goa. This is another highly requested video, a routine that is stretching, relaxing, and great to do at the end of your day. So I actually filmed this one last week when I also filmed the restorative and the upper body yoga stretching video and I think I must have been so yoga drunk after it that I deleted it. <laughs> so this is my second try. I hope that you're going to enjoy it. The equipment that you need for this isn't a whole lot but I will be using a few blocks. Uh, I have an eye pillow that is great to use at the end as well as a bolster, a rolled up blanket, uh, anything that will help you to relax towards the end. All right, so uh, let's get started. We're gonna start on the floor. So you're gonna roll down vertebrae by vertebrae and come into a Shavasana position. I notice I'm having a hard time saying position for some reason, or maybe I always have. <laughs> And then just adjust yourself once you're down. Let your legs separate and let your arms come to the side of your body. And just close your eyes and close your mouth and settle yourself into your breath. And notice how you feel. Do you feel exhausted? Do you feel okay? Do you know that there's something that's bothering you or something that you're holding on to, maybe you're annoyed at that happened today? Is that one particular thing or do you have five things on that list? You're going to pick one thing to focus into. And we're basically going to integrate that one thing into the squeeze and release. So what we'll do, we're going to lift ourselves up into a low boat pose as we inhale. We're going to tense up all of our muscles as tight as we possibly can, holding on to that one thing that is annoying us or draining us or whatever it might be. And when you can't hold it and stand it any longer, then you're going to exhale and drop yourself back down to the floor. And we're going to repeat this three times. So gather that one thing in, take a deep inhale and lift yourself up into a low boat pose. Squeeze your muscles tight, 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 tight. Tighten all the way from your toes, all the way to the crown of the head. Make fists, make a prune face. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And when you can't hold it and stand it any longer, then exhale and drop yourself back down into this Shavasana position. And take a few full breaths and just notice what happened after just doing it once. If you feel this rush of blood, this energy just flowing around you. And good thing you got two more chances. So inhale, lift yourself up, hold it, lift it, squeeze, 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 tighten, 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 tighten. And when you can't hold and tighten it any longer, then exhale and drop it. Just visualize yourself just sending it away, sending it out into the universe. And maybe someone else can make use of it. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> What's not good for you might be good for someone else. <laughs> so just notice how you feel the second time around. And let's do it one more time. Gather it in, inhale, lift it up, and hold it, hold it, hold it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, tighten, 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 tighten. And again, when you can't stand it and hold it any longer, then exhale and release and let it go. Oh, already everything just feels more open and light, doesn't it? That exercise has made me really realize how much effort it takes to hold on to things. And when we know that it no longer will serve us to hold on to it, we're doing ourselves a disservice by holding on to it and a service by trying to let it go. And letting it go isn't easy, it's a process. 
we won't be able to let it go unless you're willing to put yourself into that process. Just breathe with it and trust that by releasing it, you will open yourself up to something that is better. And gradually start to work your legs a little bit closer together and draw your non-dominant leg in first, the leg that you wouldn't naturally draw in. And then your dominant leg in second. Just hold around your knees very lightly or a little bit more towards your shins and draw your knees towards your chest. Try to let your shoulder blades rest onto the floor. And then let the knees draw away from the chest. Cup your hands around your knees. Lift your head up. Draw into the abdomen. And let the knees draw forward. Just imagine that your legs are 500 pounds. And with the abdominals and the weight of the legs and the connected unit that you're trying to lift up, it eventually starts to happen that from here you can gradually lift up. Ah, right? Feels so much better. Cross your ankles and roll over and come to your hands and your knees for a tabletop position. So your arms are shoulder distance apart and the legs are hip distance apart. We're going to exhale, round it into cat stretch. And then we're going to inhale, sit back into a child's pose. Then exhale, strike the cobra, chest and chin to the floor. Inhale to a baby cobra. Do that again. Exhale, round it into cat. Inhale, sit back to child. Exhale, strike the cobra. Inhale, baby cobra. Feel free to move towards an upper dog if you want to. Just keep your knees and your shins on the ground. Do three more times. Exhale, round it into cat. Inhale, sit back to child. Exhale, strike the cobra. Inhale, baby cobra or upper dog. Do two more times on your own. I completely forgotten that I used to call this the dynamic tranquilizer because it is dynamic, but it's very relaxing. It puts us into this space, into this moment. It's very therapeutic for the spine, warms the spine up, keeps the spine flexible, strengthens the abs, and just opens up the body beautifully. Good, and exhale to downward facing dog. Ah, shake it loose. And just enjoy that re reverse blood flow to your head and brain, which is so delicious at the end of the day. It opens everything up, it helps us to gain more of a perspective a better perspective. And then inhale, lift your heels off the floor and lift the right leg to a three-legged down dog. And then exhale, draw the knee to the navel, really round your spine and softly step the right foot forward to the right thumb. And then come onto your fingertips or feel free to place your hands on blocks if you want to come up a little bit higher. This is just all about creating space and releasing. And the more space we create, the better life feels, right? Feel the extension from your left heel to the crown of your head. Feel the chest lifting, the shoulders rolling back. And then gently from here, either keep the palm onto the block and gently twist it open to the right. Your palm can, of course, also be on the floor. Try to turn your right thumb inwards, bend in the elbow, and see if you can work your right hand to the left side of your waist, really rolling the shoulder open. You can look up to the side or down. And you can go through that movement a few times, and it will help to release any tension in your neck. Just very gently, don't crack yourself into any position. 
and slowly reach the right arm back up. And then you're going to ground the right palm either to the block or the fingertips to the floor. Pivot your left heel in and then draw the tailbone under a little bit as you're drawing to the belly. Lift your chest and reach the left arm over the left ear for an extended side angle. Try to root through the outer edge of your left foot. Try to press the right knee a little bit into your right arm. And then spin your heart to the sky. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. Breathe in fully. Exhale completely. And then slowly lower the left hand down as you gradually straighten out the right leg. The right hand can either go on the block or onto your shin. And then reach the left arm back up. So you're stretching the arms in opposite directions. Either look up to the left thumb or to the side or down. And feel free, if that feels good, to move the head a little bit in like a half moon shape just to release any tension. Good, and lower the left hand to the back and down. Come back into that low lunge position and exhale to a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your heels, lower the knees into the floor, keeping your toes curled under, and then send your hips forward. Try to press through the palms as you draw your hips back. Feel the length through both sides of your waist. Drop the shoulders down and away from your ears and into their sockets. You can move your head a little bit side to side, releasing any tension in your forehead. That space in between your eyebrows, the Ajna Chakra, your intuition. Breathe and breathe and breathe. Then lift your chest, lower the chest and the chin into the floor. Exhale, inhale to a baby cobra. And try to hear rock and roll back and forth a little bit. Keeping the pelvis grounded. Engaging your abs, lifting the breastbone, just roll the shoulders back, squeeze your buttocks a little bit, inhale to upward dog, and exhale to downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels again, and lift the left leg to three-legged dog. And then exhale, draw the knee to the navel, and softly Step the left foot forward to a low lunge. Come on to your fingertips again, or place your hands on blocks. Roll the shoulders open. Feel that you're pressing from the right heel to the crown of the head. Chest lifted. Long, tall, proud. <laughs> And then keeping their left knee over the ankle, gently twist it open to the left. And your palm can, of course, also be on the floor. Turn your left thumb inwards as you bend in the elbow. Work the hand behind your back. Look up to the side or down. And I feel free if you want to move your head a little bit. Notice how it feels on this side. And then reach the arm back up. Either ground the left palm into the block or the fingertips onto the floor. Pivot the right heel in and then draw the tail under as you draw in and up through the lower belly. Reach the right arm over the right ear. And then spiral open to the sky. Drop the shoulders down. And notice at any point during these standing poses, if you are gripping your toes, see if you can lift them off the floor, spread them out so that that also frees your energy. Lower the right hand down as you gradually straighten out the left leg. 
either stay on the block, palm onto the shin, and then reach the right arm to the sky for your triangle pose. Gaze up to the thumb, gaze to the side or down. Wherever your neck feels the best, you can move your head a little bit side to side if you want. Oh, it just feels so good to open up the side body. Life is so much better when the side body is open. Don't you agree? <laughs> Lower the right hand down as you bend the left knee and come into a low lunge and step into a downward facing dog as you exhale. Oh yeah, both side waist feel long and open. Lift the heels, inhale, lower the knees into the floor. Keep the toes curled under and again send your hips back. This time try to bend the elbows and work your palms together. Settle the shoulders down into their sockets and just feel a gentle stretch through the tricep. Let your head become heavy into the floor. Then slowly lift your head, extend the arms, lift your chest, and lower the chest and the chin into the floor. Inhale to baby cobra again. And then one more time, try to rock and roll back and forth a bit. So this helps to strengthen the muscles of the back body, keeps the chest open. This is wonderful for posture. Inhale to upward facing dog. And exhale it to downward facing dog. Oh yeah, so good. Step the right foot forward and turn to face me for an intense leg stretch. From this position, you hinge it forward and you're going to interlace the right index finger on top of the left, stretch the arms away. And then exhale, fold into it as much as you can. Try to keep your toes lifted. If you need to keep your knees bent, of course, that's fine. Full breath in. Full breath out. Deep stretch into the shoulders. And then gradually release. And you're going to change the interlacing left index finger on top of the right. Lift the chest, pin the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, hinge it forward. Good. And slowly release the arms, lift your chest, and come back into the low lunge position. Lower the left knee into the floor, and then lift your chest. Try to keep the left toes curled under. Send your hips forward, but keep the chest lifted, shoulders roll back. Make sure there's no pressure in your lower back at all. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale, lower the fingertips to the floor or your palms onto blocks and you shift your hips back for the tricep. Then shift your hips forward, inhale it up. You can hold on to your thumbs. And then exhale, fingertips to the floor or palms onto the blocks, shift your hips back. One more time, inhale it up. And exhale it forward. Good. Come back into a low lunge position and draw your left knee to the outside of the right thigh. Sit down. Draw the right leg as close towards your chest as you can and wrap the left arm around the thigh. Lift up tall as you inhale, and then gently twist it to the right as you exhale. If the right knee is close to the left armpit, 
Feel free to work the left arm to the outside of the thigh. If the knee and the armpit touch, feel free to bend the elbow and go ahead and bind. Slowly release, and you're going to do an open twist. Face it forward, and try to draw the knees as much to the center of your body as you can, and the right knee on top of the left. Lift your hips, and let your sitting bones settle. That's more important than the knees coming together, that your sitting bones are grounded into the floor. Elevate your hips if you need a little support, a little leverage. It's always good. Reach the left arm up. Bend your left elbow and take a hold of that left elbow with your right hand. Try to lift up as tall as you can, leveling the head over the shoulders and the shoulders over the pelvis. Deep stretch with the left tricep here and also into the lats. Feel free to work the right arm behind your back and see if you can bind. And of course, if you need a rope here, use a rope or a towel or a belt. Inhale, lift, and as an option, you can exhale and hinge it forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Gradually start to come up and release. Ah, yeah, shrug your shoulders around a little bit if that feels good. Now we're going to move into a pigeon pose. So the right leg that's on top is going to go onto the floor. So you have to readjust here and slide the left leg to the back. Lift your hips so that you square your hips off to the front and see that the right knee is an extension of your right hip. So if your arms are shoulder distance apart, you might want your right knee to be right on top of the right thumb, basically. Peek behind you and see that you're on the quad and the shin and the top of your foot. Lift your chest as you inhale, and then exhale, hinge it forward. You can rest your forehead on your hands, or feel free to rest your forehead onto your block. Now try to really soften your hips. And as you're breathing, feel yourself inhaling and inflating your back body. And as you exhale, deflate your back body. Lovely. Press the floor away from you. Ground the palms to the floor so they're shoulder distance apart. Curl the left toes under, lift the knee. Draw up for the abs as you press through the palms. And then lift into a three-legged down dog. And release the leg. Good. Hold downward facing dog and notice if you feel a little bit more relaxed and open. And we're going to step the left foot forward into a low lunge position. So draw the left knee to the navel, softly step the left foot forward. Come on to your fingertips, lower the right knee into the floor, and lift up into an Anjana Asana. Send your hips forward, keep your chest lifted, roll your shoulders back. Again, make sure that you're not in a place where your lower back, middle or upper back feels compromised. So you can always send your hips back a little bit. You're going to reach the arms up, inhale, and then exhale, either lower the fingertips, 
to the floor or palm onto the block and shift your hips back to straighten out your left leg. Do that again. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lift back. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lift back. Inhale to a low lunge position. And then exhale, draw the right knee to the outside of the left thigh. And sit down for the seated spinal twist. Again, lift your seat so your sitting bones are leveled. Draw the left leg as close to you as you can. Wrap the right arm around the thigh. And gently twist it open to the left. If the knee is close to the right armpit, work the right arm to the outside. If the knee is flushed with the armpit, go ahead and bend the elbow and bind. Just very gradually. Inhale, length into your spine. Exhale, rotation into your spine. Slowly release, open the twist. Face forward for the cow's face pose. Try to draw the knees as close to the center as you can. Lift your seat and again, also first and foremost, make sure that your sitting bones are grounded. Just allow your hips to open and settle into the pose. It's not an easy position to be in. Reach the right arm up, bend in the elbow. Take a hold of the elbow and press your head against the arm so that you give the tricep and the lats on the right side a bit more of a stretch. Bind it if you want to bind it. Inhale, length into your spine. Continue to sit here or exhale, hinge yourself forward. If it feels too intense through the shoulders or the hips to Hinge forward, don't do it. And gradually start to come up and release the arms. Oh yeah, shrug the shoulders a little bit back and forth. And now we're going to bring the left leg into the pigeon pose. So you have to adjust a little bit. Lean to the side, keep the left leg bent and swing the right leg to the back. Lift your hips so that you square your hips off to the front. And again, see that the knee is in extension from that left hip. So if your arms are shoulder distance apart, your left knee is on top of your left thumb. Peek behind you and see that you're in the shin, center of the shin, the top of the foot and the quad. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, hinge it forward. I'm going to make sure I don't burn off my hair. <laughs> rest your forehead onto the hands or feel free to rest your forehead on a block. So let your head become heavy, let your arms become heavy, let your hips become heavy. Inhale, inflate your back body. And exhale, deflate your back body. Then press the floor away from you, come up, ground your palms to the floor, shoulder distance apart, curl the right toes under, lift the knee, press with the palms as you draw up into your abs, come to a three-legged down dog, and lower the left leg to the floor. 
Back into downward facing dog, shaking out the head. Lovely. Lower the knees into the floor. Cross your ankles and sit back for a seated forward bend. You can elevate your hips here. You can take and use a rope if you want to. Inhale the arms up. Keep the knees bent if needed. And then exhale, hinge it forward. Feel free to hold on to your feet or rest the arms at the side of your body. Let's keep length through the neck. Straighten the legs if you can. Inhale, feel that the front body opens. And then exhale, feel that the back body releases. Try not to draw and hunch yourself into it. Just try to breathe into whatever tightness it is that you're feeling in your back body. And just try to exhale, visualize yourself sending it away. Is it that same thing that you integrated into the squeeze and release? Is that the thing that is making your back body feel tight? So if it is, exhale it away. And gradually withdraw and lift yourself up. We're going to recline onto the floor. You can Take a, a rolled up uh, blanket and place it behind your knees. If you have a bolster, use a bolster. Place it behind your knees. I like to have my little meditation pillow behind my head. And I have a little eye pillow. And then recline and make yourself very comfortable. Use as much time as you need to settle yourself in. And feel free to place a blanket over you, of course. So although you are, you will be going to sleep soon, it's great to rest for a few minutes in Shavasana to just allow everything that needs to basically come together from this practice, allow it to come together. And at the same time, allow yourself to further release what it is that you feel that you need to release. Or integrate what you feel that you need to integrate. Try to keep the mouth closed and inhale through your nose. Let your belly expand. And exhale through your nose. Let your belly go back to normal.
the toe heel, your feet together as you wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. Then wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. So very gradually, draw your dom non-dominant leg in first. Wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. Just gradually work your legs together. And draw your non-dominant leg in first and your dominant leg in second. Roll over to your right side and push yourself up to a seated position. Try to keep your eyes closed. Force your legs into an easy seat. Work your palms together in front of your heart. Draw your chin into your chest. Bow down into the highest place within you. Namaste. Thank you so much. I hope that that was helpful, helped you to release any stresses and strains from the day. Hope you feel relaxed now and that you'll have a good night's sleep. Happy Z's. See you next time. Bye.